Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back to share with you guys um, my AliExpress haul that has been trickling in. And I figure I'll just go ahead on and share it with you guys. I was trying to wait for more stuff to come in, but it kind of trickles in and then it, you know, then I don't get as much and then I get a lot. So I'll just go ahead and share with you guys what I have and then I'll come back and share more as it comes in. Um, so first things first, not crafty related, but I love these and these are just some little bow bangle bracelets and i did pick up one in gold as well as one in the silver and i just think they're super duper cute very inexpensive i want to say i paid a dollar and 37 cents for each one of these um so i just went on and picked up one of each one so love those and then um, I also picked up these little hearts. And I thought that these hearts would have been bigger than this, but um, it's okay. Um, and they're more plastic than what I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be a little less kid-like plastic and a little bit more heavier, but it's okay. Um, the You would thread through the middle, you know, from the top here down to the bottom. Um, if you were going to use them for um, charms, which was what I was thinking to use them for. So still really cute. I'm not sure how many you get in this bag, but this these are the colors that you would get. So super pretty. Um, then I also got this particular die, and, uh, die <laughs> this mold. And this makes these really cute, intricate spoons, if you can see that. So I cannot wait to pour these and see how they come um, once I pour them. Now, the strange thing about this is it's on a slant, as you can see. And so I'm just hoping that when I go to pour the resin, that it doesn't all pull this way. And I have enough um, resin to sit right up here at the top to make the spoon part um if not i'll probably have to cut this down um cut the front portion down some in order to make it a little bit more flat so that i'm able to use it with resin but if you were using it with clay or something like that then that wouldn't be a problem at all the other problem is um how they have these slits at the top not sure why they have those at the top but there are slits at the top so I'll have to try to figure out something if the resin tries to escape from the top of that. So that is the mold that I got. Um, I also got um, this bag, which I thought was super cute. And it's a really nice size. It says, this bag contains my face. And it was um, like a dollar and 40 cent maybe. And um, it's like a cream color. It's black and cream. And it has this nice zipper on the top and it has black on the inside. It's kind of quilted, not quilted like, I don't know, maybe quilted is not the right word for it, but it's thick. It's not a thin, super thin bag. It's a pretty thick bag and it's for your makeup. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I did pick up a couple of those for gifts for friends. Then I'll share um, this particular die. I thought this was so cool. I didn't realize it was going to be as big as it is, but I do love the size of it. What this is, is a um, fringe banner banner piece. And so what you would do is cut this out, fold it right in the middle, and then use this as a banner piece. So larger than what I thought, but it's still a really cute die. The next one is this pocket die. Um, it just makes a coin pocket. It has these um, hole reinforcers, an arrow, as well as a heart, and a little geotag, and looks like a little um, sunburst or something like that. But really cool, nice size um, coin envelope die. The next one that I'll show you is this hot air balloon. And it has um, all the pieces to put on top of the hot air balloon to make it different colors. These little stars as well as a heart and these little um, little oval pieces on there as well. Very, very cute. I love this little banner right here. Um, looks very Maggie Homish to me. So I went on and picked that up. Um, there's also this um, shaker bottle. 
and I thought this was super cute. Um, you can make this, um, you know, cut this out and then put shaker bits in there and then the recipient can shake the card or project or tag and um, see all the little things shaking on the inside of that. Super duper cute, love that. And then last but not least, I'll share with you guys this particular um, uh, pocket. And it, this one is much smaller than what I thought it was going to be. Um, but you would um, cut this out and fold this part up and you would, um, there, there should be a score line somewhere in here as well, maybe like right along here, but that score line is missing, unfortunately. So you would have to, um, if you got this die, you would have to um, make that score line yourself. So I think I'm going to dispute this one only because it's um, not made correctly, but this, I did want to share it with you guys so that you guys can see what it's like. I am going to link it down below if it's still linkable and um, you know, that way you guys can go and make sure that you don't purchase this particular one. So that is about it. That is all the items that I want to share with you guys. I will be back to share more of my AliExpress hauls as the things start coming in. And um, just stay tuned for more projects and different things that I have going on. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I am Glowy Cakes on Instagram and I will link that information down below. All right, guys. So that is about it. I hope you guys are having a great day. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.